Well, progress is being made to clean up the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge in Baltimore. Crews say they are hoping to have enough of the bridge removed to open up a larger shipping channel by the end of the month. News 4's Joseph Olmo has an update on the progress. Hey there, this upcoming Tuesday is going to mark three weeks since that unsettling video was seen around the world. You know, it took just seconds for Baltimore's key bridge to collapse. But when all is said and done, it'll be years before things are truly back to normal. So let's take a look at where things stand with four things you need to know. Number one, who is going to pay for the replacement of the key bridge? Well, just yesterday, every single one of Maryland's Congress members introduced the Baltimore Bridge Relief Act. If that is passed, the federal government will pick up the entire tab. But part of this bill would mean that if there is an insurance or legal payout, taxpayers will be reimbursed. Number two, where do we stand on clearing all the wreckage? Will crews continue to remove shipping containers from the Dali cargo ship, which will ultimately allow the ship to be moved at some point? They are also using those massive cranes you see there to remove debris from the Patapsco River. Now remember, there's still three construction workers who fell in the river when the bridge collapsed and still haven't been found. Okay, next up, when could the Port of Baltimore be back to normal operation? Well, most likely by the end of May. That is according to the team in charge of recovering from the bridge collapse. And finally, number four, the question a lot of people are asking, how long could it take until the key bridge is rebuilt? Joining us on News 4 to help explain that is Jim Tyman. He's the executive director of the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials. Jim, thanks so much for joining us on News 4. Thank you for having me. We know the goal is to reopen a permanent channel into the Port of Baltimore by the end of May. If that does happen, if that goal is reached, how long could a bridge rebuild take? Well, again, it's probably too early for us to be able to say because we've got a lot of work to do to be able to decide what type of a bridge you're going to put back in that place. Normally, a bridge like this is going to take five to ten years to build. And I think that there's got to be a way wow. for us to be able to expedite that and do it a little bit quicker. Uh, if you'd have to, I think that once the channel gets cleared and things get moving, I think it's very possible you'd be able to get a bridge rebuilt there in two to three years. All right, Jim Tyman, the executive director of the American Association of State Highway and Transportation Officials. Thank you so much. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me. Yeah, almost three weeks since the bridge collapsed and still certainly a long road ahead.